First of all, you can move all of the objects that should be part of the sequence under the sequence root. You can make the trigger and the door parent object a child of the sequence. Once you've done this, you can press the Create Prefab button within the uSequencer UI, which should ask you where you'd like to save this prefab. You can save this anywhere you like within the Assets folder. Your project pane should now contain a folder with the same name as your sequence. This folder contains all data and game objects for your prefab.